How's it going guys? Jack and I just got a nice bunch of walleye. If you want to see how we caught these fish, I'll leave a link somewhere here. I'll figure out how to put a link there. But uh, I'm going to do a separate video on how to like how we clean and cook them really because I know there's, there's a lot of videos on YouTube how to clean them. I figured I might as well, while we got the fish, do a nice video on how to effectively clean a walleye. Because Jack, you're the expert, right? Living on Lake Erie. So here's the fish we're going to fillet. We're not going to show the crappies because that's a whole different story. But just a nice bunch of eater walleyes. These guys are about 18, and then they range from, one's like 14 and a half, the rest are 15, 16. So just perfect eater walleyes, especially for Southern Indiana. Take it away, Jack. So to fillet a walleye, you wanna begin by pulling back this fin and starting right here behind the gill at an angle, kinda of just cutting down to the spinal cord, just going all the way in half like that. Do it on both sides. bleeding them out um one way to help with the blood is if you bleed them out when you catch them um the meat's a little bit cleaner to deal with when you're flaying them and some people say it just tastes better the texture's better um just kind of depends on if you have the stuff with you like a stringer and a pair of good scissors that can cut right here right where their head meets you can cut right there and it'll, they'll bleed out in a couple seconds keeps the meat the meat night and nice and clean so once you go down, like you just saw, you poke through and just kind of press down all the way back to the tail, like that. Do it to both sides. I like to keep, I like to do each side at a time because if you cut off one side completely, it's hard to get the other side off. So then right about here, right about in between the chewed top fins, just poke through. Go down the side, all the way back to the tail. And then you can see how the chew fillets kind of separate from the body. Then you just slowly work your way along the ribs. You kind of hear them. Slowly work your way down. This part can be tricky because the ribs have to work around and sometimes you miss some meat on there. Just slowly separate the meat from the ribs. And once that kind of separates, you just kind of cut along there. And we'll move that to the side so that's one half of the fillet. Flip it over. Like I said, bleeding out is a good option. <laughs> The same thing, just slowly start separating the meat away from the ribs using the original cut you used. And it does take practice. The first couple fish that you fillet in your life will be pretty bad, as Chris might know. Yeah, this is why you're filleting it, not me. <laughs> So even, even when you've been doing it for a while, sometimes you just miss meat, it just happens. Okay. And then when the walleye are bigger, you can cut the cheeks out. Some people say that's the most tasty meat of the fish. Um, you just kind of go in there from one angle, just kind of like scoop it out from the other side. But that's it for the main part of the fish. Just missed the bag completely on that. <laughs> and then for the two fillets, you just come over here and kind of press with your fingernails on the end, scoop down, hold the skin, and just slowly press down. Usually a cutting board's nicer. This makes it kind of hard with the ridges and the soft material. So always keep it stretched out. Slowly follow along, cutting the meat away from the skin. And that's the skin you toss that. You just do the Y bones and then we'll be good. And then for the Y bones, you can kind of see the middle portion of the meat. This is also called the zipper. I usually just make two cuts like this. Then you just take that, 
pull the meat down, so that's a good part. And the zipper's in the middle, that's the bad part, that's another good part. And then to top it off, you kind of just feel towards the ends by the head of where it came off of and kind of along the edge and see if you can feel any bones. And if you don't, then you're good. If you feel any, just kind of cut them out or pick them out or whatever. Sometimes if they're small enough, they'll just cook out. And I like to keep them in a little pan with water just to keep them cool. And then I rinse them out. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So I was going to show the cooking part of this, but we have a lot of walleye fillet. I'm going to help them for a little bit now because we got seven and two, two crappies. So it's going to be a little bit of a task. Um, I mean, the way, how do you like to cook it? Uh, we have a deep fryer up at the lake, so my dad usually cuts them up into nuggets and deep fries, deep fries them. Deep fries with nuggets. I typically, I typically just put them, put them in a pan, medium high heat, a little bit of olive oil in the pan, stuff them with some breadcrumbs, dunk them in egg yolk, get the breadcrumbs on them, perfect. But again, if you guys want to watch us catch these fish, we had an unreal day of walleye, fall walleye fishing. I'll link that in the description and in the beginning of the video where it was. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, found it useful, whatever. I figured I would just make a video of it just in case it was of use to someone. So again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.